Hey everybody, Rick here from BC Firearms Training. Today what I want to do is make some videos which will help students of mine and other students of the Canadian Firearms Safety Course pass the practical exam. This is basically study material for those students. If you are an experienced firearms user, you might find this material far too basic. And if that's the case, feel free just to uh, go on to another video of mine or other videos. Now, uh, if you are planning on taking the firearm safety course, then I do recommend that if you've never touched a firearm before, if you have very limited knowledge, that you watch these demonstrations. Without further ado, let me get down to showing you how to clear different firearms for the practical test of the Canadian Firearm Safety Course. Hello everybody, Rick from BC Firearms Training here. Today we're continuing in our video series of how to clear firearms safely to the standard for the Canadian Firearms Safety Course. The firearm we're going to be looking at today is the bolt action. And I have three bolt actions that I'm going to demonstrate. First bolt action that I'm going to demonstrate is the, the Mauser. This is a very popular uh, bolt action, the Mauser action, sorry, is very popular. Now, this has a magazine, but it's integrated into the firearm. So I'm not going to remove that first. The first thing I'm going to do is just open the action, pull it back, and then I'm going to observe that the chamber is empty, verify that the feeding path is empty, I can see the follower. Then I'm going to reach forward for balance. I'm going to grab my cleaning rod, with the appropriate mop size on it, and I'm gonna feed that down. The open action, till I can see it come, feed that down the barrel till it comes through the open action. At that point, I know that the firearm is clear, and I can put it down on the table. The second firearm bolt action that I'm going to demonstrate is, the, uh, is a browning um, bolt action. When I pick this up, I do have a detachable magazine. So I'm going to remove that first. I'm going to remove the magazine, put it on the table. The next thing I'm going to do is open the action, pull back the bolt to see if the chamber is empty. Then I'm going to look down the open action. I can see that there is no, ammuni no ammunition in the feeding path. The feeding path is clear. Now I can do one of two things. I can examine the bore with my cleaning rod, the way I've been doing it so far, or with this one, the bolt comes out fairly easily. I can remove the bolt and I can look down the barrel and I can clear the barrel from the breech end visually. At that point, I know that the firearm is empty. I can put the bolt back in, leave it open and put it down on the table. The next uh, firearm that we are going to demonstrate is the Lee Enfield, a very popular bolt action rifle because it's been around forever. Now, I'm gonna give you two rules here and for this firearm, I'm gonna violate each of those rules. Rule number one is your finger never goes inside the trigger guard and rule number two is if there's a detachable magazine, you remove that first. However, on this Lee Enfield, the, ac the magazine release is inside the trigger guard right there. So, Removing the magazine first doesn't seem like a good idea to me. So I'm going to disable the firearm first. I'm going to open the, the bolt, pull it all the way back. Now I can safely reach inside the trigger guard and remove the magazine. Then I can observe the chamber, verify the feeding path, reach forward for balance. And then with my cleaning rod, bring it through the open, bring it through the barrel and watch it come through the open action. Now on this firearm, I could also have removed the bolt, but I decided to do the cleaning rod method. Now at this point, the instructor will probably ask you to load two, two cartridges of the correct ammunition and chamber a cartridge. First thing I need to do is determine what ammunition goes in this firearm. This takes a 303 British. So I know that that is the cartridge that I'm looking for. I'll put the firearm down and then I'll check the cartridge head. 303 British, 303 British. Now I'm going to take the magazine that I took out of the firearm and 
with the long end of the magazine in the web of my uh, left hand between my index finger and my thumb, I'm just going to bring it in front of me. And then with the flat end of the cartridge up between the, my index finger and my thumb, I'm going to bring that in front of me as well. And I'm just going to push the cartridges down into the magazine. The flat end of these cartridges should be against the long end of the magazine. Then, so I can get it in right, I'm going to put my index finger along the short end of the magazine. I'm going to pick up my firearm again and I'm going to insert the magazine in until it clicks in. Pull back on the bolt and then I'm just gently going to push it forward and lock it into place. I will do whatever else the instructor asks me and then on the ceasefire command I'm going to open the action again first then I'm going to remove the magazine, put that on the table, observe the chamber, verify the feeding path, reach forward for balance, take my cleaning rod, put it in the down the muzzle, watch the mop end come through the open action, and I've cleared this firearm to the standard of the Canadian Firearm Safety Course. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll be doing semi-automatic rifles and shotguns.